love no way. Great verses and passages about the topic of love. God's love for us is a perfect example and starting place to study on love. There are also great verses about love and relationship to marriage, brotherly love, or friendship, and loving your neighbor. Here is 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 through 8. I call this unselfish love. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice or wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endure all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. God loves his scriptures. There should be no talk of love in the Bible without covering God's love of each other. This is the love that led us to a path of eternal life. Praise God. Thank you. I'm Jerry Woods Live. I'm worldwide. Listening to Positive Power 21.org with Jerry Royce. Hey. What's up? What's up, everybody? We're back. Happy New Year. Positive Power. Feel the power. Feel the power. Did you feel the power? Did you miss me? Did you have a happy holiday? Did you have a Merry Christmas? Almighty God, I pray for my friends, my co workers, and my neighbors. Ask you to bring healing to my friend's body. Ask you to correct what needs correcting, heal what needs healing, touch what needs divine touch. God, I ask you. Would you give my friends, my family, my neighbors, and my co-workers a new season of vibrant health, energy, and enthusiasm? In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Can I all say amen? Thank you, everybody, for joining us, and welcome to Positive Power 21.org Christian Media. And you're listening to Late Night with Jerry Boys Live Worldwide. Can you feel the power? Batman is back of late night radio. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? 21. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm your host, Jerry Bush Live Worldwide. In Philippians 4, 4, 7 reads, Always be full of joy in the Lord. I 
Say it again, rejoice and let everyone see that you're unselfish and considering all you do. Remember the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God your needs and don't forget to thank Him for His answer. Because if you do this, you will experience God's peace, which is far more wonderful than the human mind can understand. God's peace. Yeah, yeah. 14, 6 by John says, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John eleven twenty five. 25, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? 21, Joyce White, Paula G, Patrice Jackson, Tina Superwoman Hobson, Kimmy Kim, Pastor Ron Bello, Pastor Bombadella Bello, Pastor B, Pastor G. Woo! Can you feel the power? I love this brand. What's up, Robert? My man, what's going on, brother, man? You trying to tune in, brother? Facebook Live, man. <laughs> Welcome, welcome everybody. I'm so happy to be back. One more prayer. God be with our family from the youngest to the oldest, lighting up our relationships, sowing grace into our troubles. God be with our family. We've been loving to our works, our rest in our place. In Jesus' name. Can the house say, Amen? Woo! Positive power, baby. We're back. We're back. We're back. All right, everybody. Brand new year. Just want to say a few words before before I bring the Faith Walker on. Let me see if the Faith Walker is here. First of all, the Faith Walker is here. But I just want to say congratulations to Paula G celebrating one year in podcasting. And we just so much welcome her to this to this brand, Positive Power Double X I, Positive Power 21, 21.org. We just welcome her to, I mean, she came in and everyone just embraced her. And it's just a magnificent thing that's just been created with Paula G, the voice. And we call her the quiet storm. And you can check out right here, y'all. You can catch her on Thursdays in between Pastor V and Pastor G show starting at 830 when she bring us wisdom. That's right, from the wise one. She's like Obi-Wan Kenobi. And also, you can catch her on Friday nights at midnight with me, Jerry Woods Live Worldwide, on the Quiet Storm Top 10 Gospel Videos. I got a new video, too, I'm going to play this week. So we can open up the new year with a new video. But, of course, you guys haven't seen all the videos yet. We got over 40 videos and more coming. That's right, we're going to be working hard to bring them to you guys. But I'm just so excited to be here. Um, it was great opening up um, the earlier show with Paul, Paula G, The Voice, and um, my man, my, my, my nephew, my internet nephew, Philip Burgum, the author. That's right. And as usual, we have plenty of, we got sponsors we need to talk about, but we're going to do this show in an hour, y'all, this week, y'all. Jerry Bush Live, got, he promised he's going to be getting rest this year because I could stay on here forever. I promise to get myself some rest. You know, get ready for the next day. Me and my wife, I mean, not my wife. Well, she's supposed to be in the gym. But me and my daughter, we're in the gym together. We gave her a membership for Christmas. Of course, my youngest son, he's been in the gym since he was eight years old. You know, he's all about speed. So he's been going to speed school since he was eight. And um, he goes like three, four days a week. And he just loves it. And now his sister, you know, who's a very good athlete, dancer, singer. She plays the instruments, drums and piano, guitar. And I'm just so proud of my daughter. She's actually in the performance art school for dance. It was a miracle how she got in. She actually was studying martial arts at the time and uh, practiced, worked out in the boot camp, uh, hired a teacher, got her niece. Next thing she auditioned, got into the school. So now she told me she's interested in running track. And also she's preparing for college because she's in 11th grade. And, you know, you got to get ready now. You got to get them ready now. SATs, all that stuff. So uh, she's actually interested in um, getting into, uh, I think, uh, rehabilitation, like physical rehab and all that stuff. So uh, we got her in the gym now. She's training and and um, getting, you know, fit and getting ready for track season. That's right. She's going to go out there and surprise them people. Never ran track before, but she's going to be ready for them. 
All right, everybody, let me get, let me get Joyce White in here. I could talk all night. What's up, Joyce White? How you feeling? The Faith Walk. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Jerry. Feeling good? Feeling yeah. good? Yeah, good for you. Good. Well, I'm feeling marvelous. Just I worked out in the gym for an hour, had a salad, a protein shake, opened up the year with Paula G, Philip Bryan. Man, I mean, I was late coming on because <laughs> I took... I got calls. I, know, I heard. I got some calls from power hitters. I got a call from from Pastor Bello, Pastor Paula, mm, Pastor Rhonda Bello called me, but before her, I got a call from Jay Nicole. That's right, Jay Nicole Jones. You guys know her. She's an independent gospel artist, big time. Used to be in the secular world too. Actually, I think she had a um, contract with uh, Sony Music when she was younger. So she knows all about the industry. So we got a chance to talk to her. A lot of big things going to be happening for 2017. We're excited. You excited? You know I'm excited. Heck yeah, man. We got to be excited, man. That's right. We excited. And um, it's all about this year for Jerry Boys Live 2017 and his family. It's about health and fitness. You know, getting right. You know, we're getting older. But, you know, it's funny. You know, just, you know I hate to see people, um, you know, put... Put put number on their age because I'm looking at these guys that's in their 60s, 70s on the internet. Because just think, you know, YouTube has really opened things up. You know, where you can just research anything you want. It's 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 like a library of wealth of information. The libraries only have the information on YouTube, and these guys are showing up in their 67. Look at Sylvester Stallone. They all cut up, good shape. You know, and um. One of my friends, um, he sent me a, um, you know, I know I said happy birthday. His birthday, I think, was like near your birthday. He sent me a picture of him and his wife in Jamaica. I was like, is that Mark? I mean, he was cut up like a celebrity. <laughs> like he was going out to be an action hero. And that dude was like 51. Yeah. I, I remember he'd been doing it for about a good five years because he had a pretty much situation where like I had around 06, 07. He had a, a bout with... Uh, his gallbladder, gallbladder was in trouble. And he had gallstones. And um, his doctor put him on a lean diet, which he, he was already on, and he still had that problem. Found out his cholesterol was, was sky high. So he, he found out weight training helps beat that kind of stuff. So you should see this guy. I said, man, if he could do it, I could do it. So I'm pumped up. So I got to beat him out. We probably going to have, we always compete. We used to compete with girls and all kinds of stuff, sports. So I got to beat him out. Can't let him. So I already lost the weight over the holiday because I didn't eat bread for seven days. No soda. Straight water, protein shakes. Pfft, I'm going to be there. Just got to cut it oh, up. Oh, yeah. Now. Since you cut out bread and pasta, your stomach will That's go right. flat. That's what happened to me. That's right. I did a little pasta because my wife makes her famous pasta salad during the summer and she blesses during the holiday. And I did get a little bit of it, and then I did eat some soup. I had to get some chicken noodle soup in, cause man, that that bag, that dog on bug that was going around was crazy. Woo. Anyway, keep it but, there in Maryland. Yeah, but I got it down. But I'm so we're in the gym. We'll cut it down, build some muscle. I was in the circuit weight room. Me and my baby girl, we was killing it. But I had to take it easy, you know. I've been I've been doing some light weights just to get ready for this, cause I knew we was going to explode in there. But I'm excited, you know, because I got to get the mind right, you know. You know, when, you, when you're dealing with a, a, a disease that your family, been in your family for generations, you, you got to step it up, you know. Diet. Amen. Fitness. And no stress. But, of course, when, you, when you're it. dealing no with. No stress. Yeah, but see, with this kind of world we're in right now, you know, we're trying to look out for your family, your kids, your, your you know, you, 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 you know, you have a home. You're trying to take care of, you got a stressful job. Sometimes you just can't get away from, you know, but they say there's ways to beat stress. And that's with exercise. You know, a lot of people find ways to, you know, you don't want to go to bed with that, with your body feeling like it's just stressed out. Man, lifting weights, I don't know what happened. I I just feel like a different person today, George. And I lift weights before, you know, but uh, I never really combined it with cardio. You know, so I got so all cardio, that. Cardio, like what? Running cardio or cardio yeah, on yeah. a well, I got on the, bike? Well, I got on the treadmill. I mean, anything cardio because I got on the treadmill today. 
Um, cause bef- when I, when I tried this before, when I was trying to lose weight, get my weight down. Cause I was like tailgating like crazy, you know, during football season. Um, I got in a gym when I had problems with, um, what was that thing my mom has? I forgot what it's called. But anyway, this one eating too, drinking too much dark liquid sodas and fried foods. Something to do with your esophagus and your, I forgot what that thing called. She always talk about it all the time. But anyway, um, I started doing cardio, a lot of bike riding and treadmill. And um, I kind of got my weight down, like, just like that. It was weird. This happened just like that. And um, now, I think, this watching how some of these stars work out, and then now you can pull up anybody's workout on YouTube. I mean, they actually have an app called Power Up that my daughter showed me. You can actually pick what you want to do and follow what they do. It was, it's amazing. <laughs> it was like, what? Your trainer, personal trainer, right in your phone. It's, it's, we're wow. there now. Yeah, we're in that technology right now. It's crazy. Anyway, hello, everybody. Everybody out there on Spricker Radio. I didn't get a chance to go out there yet. What's going on, everybody? That's right. Feel the power. So, again, hello, everybody. I didn't get a chance to do a whole bunch of invites on Facebook Live. I think a lot of people already signed up and subscribed, but we're just going to chat with them. But today, uh, Joyce, we got a, a whole bunch of new music to play. We're not going to run the show all night like we normally do <laughs> on a weekday. Get Jerry right, right. I got to start getting his rest. Because my goal is to try to get into the, the gym almost every day. Now, this is the thing, Joyce. You know my son uh-huh. goes, my, you know my son is in the gym. He goes to a gym, too, but he goes to a different one. But he goes there for speed school. But they have a track. They have a speed track. So um, I actually walk and do some running on the track. We're mostly walking. Cause I'm still trying to get used to that track. Cause I'm used to running outside, and I usually do that for like 45 minutes, which is awesome. You know, I get I think I get in like four miles. It's, 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 it's incredible. So uh, I do that with him because he goes uh, like to his schedule changes depending on what day his barber appointment is, what week it is. So he goes like anywhere between Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Okay, and then my daughter, we trying to work out our schedule with her because right now she's um. She has, like, dance practice because they're getting ready for some big uh, recital. And she has fashion show practice because they got a big fashion show coming up. So it depends on when we can get in her time. So so what's the day? Today, Wednesday, Jordan went to the barber today, so we was able to get into the gym today at 7 and worked out to 8. So we probably we might do some late hours. Who knows? We might just, I might just finish up 11 o'clock show and just roll right in the gym. Just like that. <laughs> Bring it hard. Oh, I take it it's a 24 hour gym, huh? 24 hour gym. Yep. It's nice, oh, wow. too. Nice. Now, I like it because it's purple. <laughs> it's all purple. Dark My purple. favorite color. Dark purple, light purple. Yeah, Planet Fitness. I give them a shout out because they're going to cut this body up. That's right, y'all. That's right. Yeah. I'm mean, down to a large. Get out of them extra larges. That's right. I'm feeling really good, oh, man. Oh, my God. I didn't. Wait a minute. You're in an extra large? I would have thought you being in a large. No, okay. I'm, in a, I'm in a large now, but I've been buying extra large for the last couple of years. But now I'm actually, really, my real true size is a large shirt. But, you know, like most time you buy dress shirts, you don't really buy it to fit like that. This is a fitted shirt, and which I haven't really been buying fitted shirts. I may have like two, and I think I purchased them accidentally. <laughs> I didn't see the word fitted on there. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but you know, I got this cut down now. You know, just gotta just start cutting down it like I did last year. About two years ago, I had cut down in this. The abs were there, you know. But I just wasn't. I didn't get a chance to work on the shoulder because I had like a little shoulder injury thing going on. Nerve. I feel like you know when, one thing about diabetes is crazy. It depends on what type you have. You can feel like you got like nerve issues, like numbness and stuff. And some people complain about a lot of pain in their feet. Like I don't get that. But I get the the nerve stuff like on the left side. Cause my dad was getting that for a while because he couldn't even really drive far for a while. And I found out the way to beat that is um, you definitely got to do some cardio and weight training. Because I I was feeling starting to feel kind of weak. Because you guys see behind me, I got all these suitcases. They carry our equipment when we go out to do um, live streaming and filming. And, um, man, after pulling that stuff out the truck, the next day, I could feel it, man. I said, dang, I said, my doctor said, yeah, you got to start, you got to start weight training. 
You know, it's like rehab. You know, you got to get those muscles built back up. So, so that's it, you know. All right, it's 1022. We don't have no guests tonight, but it's just Joyce, the Faith Walker, White, and Jerry Boys Live Worldwide back for the new year. We're glad, happy to see have everybody tuning in. I haven't had a chance to check out everybody, but uh, appreciate you guys' support. And we got some great things going to be happening this year. Um, we're going to get back into doing a lot more music reviews. As you guys know, we work with Ngara, uh, their affiliate that we work with. Um, they basically work with music artists, making sure that they are prepared for mainstream radio, distribution, all that good stuff. And um, so, so what we do, we, we entertain a lot of their uh, their people right here. I see old Pastor Bellows on tonight when um, the Blessed Network is airing Facebook Live. All right. Okay. So if you want to get yourself some Bible study on, you can do that. Or some women issues. All right. But we're well, we going to be doing a lot of music this year, um, exposing these artists, helping them build a fan base as we build our fan base. We're looking to do some powerful things. Um, you know, we've been meditating. We've been praying to God. Um, so far, we like the way this brand is going. And are we ready to do some business, right, Joyce? You ready? You ready yes, we are. That's we right. are ready. That's right. So hit us up. Go ahead and give them the website. Hit us up. Now, you go out to PositivePower21.org and check out all our goodies. But better yet, you can go ahead and instant message us and find out what's really, really going on. Oh, what's up? What's up, Kwame? I'm just dialing in to Facebook Live. We got Verona Jacobs. We got some big things planned for her. Oh, man, we just so excited. Her and Sophia Jacobs, both of the Jacobs. That's right. We're going to be working them. That's right, working them. We got Blossom Rogers. That's right. She's supposed to be airing some new TV shows starting in January. I think Tammy, waiting for Tammy to get back in the studio. Uh, we're hoping to do something with Tammy ourselves, to tell you the truth. So all that's happening with the Blessed Network with Pastor Barmadella Bello and First Lady Pastor Rhonda Bello, a.k.a. Dr. Rhonda. That's right, because Dr. Rhonda's show going to be coming soon. That's right, y'all. We got a whole bunch of big surprises. We got some brand new TV talk shows going to be coming out of the D.C. area. Man, if we can just get the Joyce the Faith Walk up in this area. So um, I know you and Paula are planning a trip because you know, me and Paula have been talking a while. Yeah. We want to get some pilot shows done with her. And um, we're excited. You know, we, we want you guys to come on out and do something. You know, remember, Dr. Rhonda will be ready for you guys. All right? Hey. Yeah. And I got yep. my studio ready here too. That's right. And I got my studio here ready for you guys too. So we don't have to always, we don't have to bounce to DC. We can do everything right here. That's right. The 21 Studios. All right. So you ready for oh, some I music? Like that. Oh, you know what? Um, Thank you. Uh, Yeah. Actually, it used to be two rooms. <laughs> my wife said, uh, they got to change. <laughs> so so, I'm back. Oh. so my, my radio, my radio uh, studio is also. My TV studio is actually on the other side. Let me see. You guys may be able to take a look. If you're looking at looking at us on Facebook Live, you may be able to catch a little bit of it right there. If, you, if you're looking at us right now, oops, I didn't switch it over. If you're looking at us now, the studio is over to that side if you're watching us on Facebook. So any of your pastors out there, you know, you want to you wanna do TV? Hey, holler up. I'll get you on TV. That's right. Internet TV is humongous right now. That's right. It yeah. sure is. What's up, Pastor Singleton? Pastor V in the house. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Pastor V. So Pastor V will be on tomorrow. We still got Bible Radio going on starting at 8 o'clock with Pastor V. Then you got past, you got Paula G at 8.30. Then at 9 o'clock, you got Pastor G closing up. And then you got us coming on at 10 o'clock with Late Night Talk Radio. That's right. And it'll be Superwoman Tina Hobson joining me tomorrow night. Hey, hey, Superwoman. All right, Joyce, um, you ready to do your birthday, people? You got birthday people for the day? Yay! Yay, yay. I sure do, because I was telling one particular gentleman whose birthday is today that I was giving him a shout-out on your show tonight. So he said, how can I listen? So I gave him the um, the website. All right, so come on out. In fact, he can. That's right. If you if you have if you confused about how to work the control, just go out to Positive Power Two One G. It's playing live right now on our, our app. It's playing running live right now on our website. All right, go ahead. Your turn to burn. All right. Well, today being January fourth, 
my following Facebook friends have birthdays. Shout out, happy birthday to Javar Young. We have Calissa Bass. We have Sean Clay, Laura Nagel, Tamiko Crenshaw. We have Tywaskia Mitchell, she's 53, and Ricky Murray, he's 43. The following celebrities who are blessed to have their birthday today on January 4th is Tina Knowles. She's 62. Beyonce's mom is 62. We have Diane Cannon. She's 79. She's a TV movie actress. We also have Dot Jones, 52. She's actually a TV actress that was on that um, hit show called Glee. And finally, we have Patrice Lovely. She's 48. She's on that show on OWN called Love Thy Neighbor by the phenomenal Tyler Perry. So happy birthday to you all. God bless. Yeah, yeah. That is awesome. That is awesome. Man, you sound just like you should be on the radio. <laughs> uh, I am. You sound like an announcer. Well, you sound like an announcer. All right, my birthday oh, people. I do? You know, it's funny. The day is uh, someone who uh, you introduced me to birthday. I, I guess you said her name. You, did you say Khalees Bass? Khalees Bass. Yeah, Khalees birthday today. Birthday today. Yeah, she my friend. And since I missed people yesterday, my good friend Cotton Campbell, I got to hit her up. I forgot to hit Cotton up. Cotton Campbell used to be on Friday nights with me. Her birthday was yesterday. Janice Colvin. That's right. She's a music artist. Been on the show. We played her music in the top ten. And Brianna Carpenter. Oh, that's why she didn't come to work. Hey, Bree. All right, gotta send him a shout out. And then we got Fred Newsom, Stacy Tuck, Carl M. Dean, Freesana Lyons, Ruben Woosley, Sabrina Mitchell, Annette Gabriel, Candace Washington. I am a poet. And Clarence, somebody. Clarence Williams. Wow, I knew all half those people personally. Wow, all their birthdays today. Of course, we missed the birthdays on Mondays, too. We got Conrad Sampson, Tanya McMillan, Kashina, Kanice, Derek Knight. Man, that's a lot of people. My dad's birthday was on the first. It's Royce, big time Royce. That's right, King Royce. Cedric Rashad, he was on the show. And Shakina, El Shaddai. And there was 13 other people. Too many people to name. Let's see if there's anybody special in there. There was a lot of birthdays on the first. Wow, I had like 16 people birthday on the first. And 16 was yesterday. That's a lot of people. Man. Well, happy birthday yep. to all you people. We wish you many, many more. Remember, you got to take care of yourself. Take care of that body that God bless you with. That's your holy temple. All right. That's right. That's the one that goes everywhere with you. All right. That was awesome. Let's give them a clap. All right, Joyce and Joyce, we're going we're gonna to come back to you. We're going to find out what you got going on in your neck of the woods. Who's coming up? I know you just did a show, and uh, we'll get a little recap on what your show was about. So before we do that, we're going to hear three songs in a row. But before we do the, 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 the three songs in a row, songs that you heard on our network, and remember, we play independent gospel music 24-7, y'all, 24-7. That's right. You can tune in any time of the day. And listen to this awesome music by independent gospel artists from around the nation. Your people, your brothers, your sisters. All right. So much talent. All right. We got some new songs today we're going to listen to. All right. And this is what we got. We got Eddie Wayne Wallace. We got Tia. Mark Prentice. And I guess that'll be the three we're going to do. All right. So we're going to listen to those three in a row. All right. So you ready for that? So, oh, I'm ready. You know I love music. That's right. This is, oh, I forgot Dana. We're going to be playing Dana, too. She got a song called I Clap. Oh, let me start this over again. All right. Well, Eddie Wayne Wallace, he has a song called There's Healing in the House featuring Norma Smith. I think they call her Midge for short. Then you got Crazy Praise by Tia, Way Out No Way, Mark Prentice, and then I Clap by Dana. There we go. All right. So we're going to play three in a row. So we'll come back and play Dana, um, I guess, a, a quarter of the hour. Okay? So we're going to hear these three. And then we're going to talk about them. All right? So all you guys out there Amen. listening, all the people, 
Facebook Live. We want to know what you guys think. Now, everybody out there on Spreaker Radio, and a shout out to all our military people. Staying tall, hang in there, keep you, keeping you in prayer. We appreciate you guys tuning in. All of our brothers and sisters in the islands who tuning in to us through satellite radio, Barbados, uh, Dominican Republic. I'll be out there this year, y'all, to do another promo. So I'll be seeing you guys, I think, um, coming back out there in July, 1st of July. Okay? Man, I got to check that day because somebody told me he was giving a party. So maybe that's the party, <laughs> the one in Dominican Republic. I'll start writing stuff down, Johnny. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> If you guys are interested in taking a nice trip, I'll let you guys know where we're going to be, and you can come join us and hang out with me, Jerry Rizla, because all I do is hang out at the pool. No, I don't. I don't hang out at the pool. I hang out at the beach. You can go to anywhere for a pool, but they got the best beaches. And I'll let you guys know where we're going to be if you want to hang out with me, Jerry Rizla, because my wife and I like to hang out at the pool for some reason. All right, here we go. Three in a row, y'all. <laughs>
You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Here we go. Crazy yeah. praise, crazy yeah. praise. Yeah. Crazy praise. I got a crazy praise. This is Brandon Royce, and you're listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm here to remind you, do not put limits on God. He's truly able to make a way out of no way. Listen to this. We all have problems. We all have pain. Like you are going insane. Yeah. Everything you go through, there's a reason why you got go through. God has a purpose. He has plans for you and me. He'll make a way out. No way. Make a way out. No way. Yeah. 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 
It's so easy to say I'm waiting on God I'm living by faith May seem like you're downright crazy But no matter what people say Continue to wait on the Lord da, 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 da. Ever thought things were bad And then they got a lot worse Yes, it did Those are the times you gotta look up And start trusting him more Yeah, yeah Cause everything you go through There's a reason why it gotta go through Yes, it is God has a purpose He got plans for you and me So he'll make a way Out No way Independent gospel music. You gotta show your love. You gotta show your support to our people, y'all. That's right. How are we gonna get out of this mess if we don't support each other? Start with the music in the books. So make your purchases. And speaking of books, don't forget DNR is out by Superwoman Tina Hobson. DNR do not resuscitate. It's out. She said the hardback is out, so I gotta it's supposed to be my Christmas gift for my wife. I gotta get her online. But I know she's gonna get me because I haven't I haven't bought her um apart for her TV. Her TV broke again. So she told me I need to fix her TV. So I gotta go back on YouTube. But anyway, we just heard from There's Healing in the House featuring Norma Smith, Eddie Wayne Wallace music, and you heard Craze Crazy Praise by Tia. I think I heard a little bit of rolling the Earl Baseman in that. I gotta talk to him about that. Sound a little familiar. And then yeah, way out, no way. That was, I love that. Mark Prentice. So we got to get them on the show, y'all. That's right. You hear me, Joyce Walker? We got to get them on the show. All right. We got Joyce White and we got Paula G in the house. What's up, Paula G? Hey, how are you, love? Hey. I feel like I just talked to you. I know you just talked to me. Congratulations again on <laughs> one year. I remember that, that day for me. Thank you, thank wow. you, thank you. Yes, I feel like I just talked to you. Indeed. So I, I mean, I, I'm, I apologize again being late. Man, it was just... Oh, don't worry. I was just so excited to, it, to get in the gym with my, you know, do this with my daughter. You know, it's like, you know... Yeah. I was just, I, yeah, I you know, and she's... Too. You know what? Said, she, on this day, 10 years from now, she's not going to remember that you had to be on the Paula G show. You know what she's going to remember? She's going to remember the time her daddy spent with her that is what is important yeah, that is what's important it was, it was yeah, so special absolutely so that, special. that is such a beautiful thing it was and it was you know, you know, and the thing about it when we was right over there we just remember we needed a lock for the locker so my wife uh-huh. said oh big lot should have it when in big, big lot I said, oh my gosh they, they got furniture in here they had nice furniture i was i was ready to go right, start doing right. some window shopping right and then they had a lot of man i like this store it was clean i've never been in there that clean before uh-huh. So um, 
So we uh, couldn't find a lot of girls. Oh, yeah, we don't have them. So I said, oh, man. So we put our coats in the car. I was like, oh, man, we're going to get sick again. So we went back in there, and the guy said, oh, I need your ID. I said, oh, my gosh, I left it in the car. I got to go back. Then he said, oh, you know what? We saw lock here, combination lock. So I said, oh, okay. So huh? so we solved our problem. So um, it's, it's smooth now. We just roll in there, throw our stuff in the big locker, get on the treadmill. We're going to have our little routine. It was so exciting. Yeah. She was so happy. It's so good. I know. It's so good. You know, I, I, I remember, and, and I apologize for being late, because I was on, you know, my daughter, my youngest daughter lives in New York, and she's in Brooklyn, and I saw on the news earlier today that there was this uh, train crash or wreck or something. So, of course, you know, I called her, and her phone went straight to voicemail, mm. and I about collapsed. Because I'm like, cause, you know, that's the area, you know, where she lives. And all kinds of stuff started going through my head because I'm like, okay, her phone went straight to voicemail. Something has happened to her. Today's my oldest daughter's birthday, so oh, I was just freaking out. Yeah, but, uh, she, you know, she sent me a text, sent me, said she was okay. And then uh, just now she called me, um, you know, just to let me know that she was okay. And she was on a different train and all that, you know, all that sort of thing. But she, she, you know, we talk about daddy-daughter dates, and she and her daddy, you know, hang out a lot because, you know, they live up in the D.C. area. And I remember one night she told me, she said, you know, daddy and I are going to go hang out. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, it's nice. They're going to go out to dinner and go to a movie or something like that. She sends me these selfies, that she, and, and on the top of it, it said uh, daddy-daughter date. Um, we're at an MMA. They were at a mixed martial arts um, Oh, wow. Uh, event, but that was a but that was their daddy daughter date. You know, that was a daddy daughter. Yeah, you know, that was a daddy really daughter date. So that those was, are special. Yeah, it is. Like I told you earlier, my daughter, you know, her and I used to go to Starbucks, and you know, she used to just get our favorite drink, and we just sit there, mm -hmm. and, and we, you know, we talk about a few things. But you know, it's funny. Um, I was talking to uh, Pastor Rhonda about this the other day. I was I was riding home. We was talking about. You know, the kids, they really like hanging out with my wife and I. They like really go everywhere yeah. we go. They don't have no problem. Of course, my son like to stay in front of his video games. But normally, I mean, for him, though, it's real to go out with us. So she said, you guys should be really blessed because a lot of times teenagers don't like hanging with their parents. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, wow. But, you know, but you know what I think it is sometimes I think when, you know, when our young, because, you know, I'm an educator, and I think when our young people see their friends or their classmates or, or what have you in a two parent or, or when they see let me, this opposite, when they see maybe their classmates or their friends, maybe, and, there's, and don't get me wrong, there's, there's nothing wrong with a single parent household. I, that's not what I'm saying. But when they maybe see their peer, there's peers that are maybe in family situations that may be challenging that it gives them a greater appreciation for their own situation, if that makes sense. Yeah, you know, true. like, they, they really appreciate the fact, you know, I got mom here, I got dad here, I got a good, solid, you know, um, family home because, you know, my friend or friends, you know, are in a dysfunctional environment. And it, it doesn't, a dysfunctional environment doesn't necessarily have to mean it's just one parent. It's just a dysfunctional environment. Mm -hmm. But I think sometimes that kids see that and they, appre they then appreciate, you know, the environment they're in. But again, that speaks volumes. Mm -hmm. You know, like I was saying on the show, that just speaks volumes to um, you and your wife and the and the home atmosphere that you all create, that your children want to hang with you. That That's huge. That speaks yeah, volumes. Yeah. She likes to talk to us. Yeah. She, she likes to talk. My wife was just saying the other day, I said, man, she really wanted uh -huh. to talk to me. And I was, she had something, my wife had something on her mind she was trying to remember because her dad's been sick okay. and my dad been sick with this flu thing. And um, I, and my wife said, I hate to you know tell her I can't talk to her right now because I want her to go think back. Oh, mommy don't got no time. I said, Yeah, we think the same thing. And she said, Yeah, when daddy could go, uh huh, yeah, that mean he not really listening. I said, No, it's not like like I'm not listening, but I'm trying to re probably what? remember something I need to do. But I'm just acknowledging you that I heard you. You know this. You know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So they kind of understand. They said, Yeah, right, dad. <laughs> like. <laughs> I said, you guys know I got like 50 million things going on. I'm trying to keep up with everybody. I'm doing the best I can. Absolutely. Because I take her to school now. I remember my wife switched roles. I said, well, honey, let me take her to school. Uh, the weather getting bad now. And I, I usually take the truck. And um, we're usually pretty good about telling you the weather's bad. But anyway, um, she right. talks me all the way from the door 
We get in the car to let her out. <laughs> she's, she's going. Because I ask her stuff like, what time am I supposed to pick you up? Um, you know, am I picking you up today? So she kind of like run her whole schedule uh-huh. down. And then we have breakfast. Hey. And, you know, we usually try to have like a quick breakfast together at 2 in the morning. So it's really interesting. Um, You know, it's like, you know, I can't say the relationship is getting stronger, but it's like we're doing mm-hmm. more things with her. And she got a job, too, so we got to take her to work. And I apologize to everybody last night. Kimmy, Kimmy, we supposedly came on last night. But my wife was just wasn't feeling well at all yesterday. She just, all the way through the morning, and I just saw her. And she's mm-hmm. just like, she really needed to have a day off and just get some rest. She likes to work through her illnesses. And sometimes you just, because my supervisor been coming to work the last two days, and she just looked like she just need some rest. But she got, you know, stuff she needs to do because it's the beginning of the year. So I, and she said, "Well, my husband, he's he's home. He just can't work. He is sick." But you know, you are too. <laughs> you bringing that stuff to work. Yeah. But, you know, the show, right. the show must yeah. go on. The show must go on. So anyway, we joined by Joyce White. I know you talked to Joyce earlier too, but Joyce is on the line. Yeah. Joyce. Yes, I'm here. Just listening. <laughs> Sorry, Joyce. You <laughs> but know, I do best. Yeah, you know, wow. you know, me and Paul G get together, you know, wow. sometimes it's just, it's just too much love, you know. So anyway, I'm so glad uh, that to, to celebrate wow. both of you, because uh, Joyce celebrated three years this year. What did you say, yeah. September? It was September, Joyce? You celebrated three years? September. Mm-hmm. A podcasting, yep, yep. man. Joyce, Joyce, Joyce been on it. I've been, I I'm trying to keep up with Joyce. All right. Well, well I got a Joyce. question for Joyce real hey, quick, though. Joyce, Joyce, tell us what was that mm-hmm. feeling like? The you know three years. I mean, you know, I know it's been some ups and downs, more good than bad. Tell us a little bit. You know, in your words, what your experience <laughs> been like as a podcaster? Uh oh. Y'all want the truth, the real truth? No. <laughs> PG version. The PG version is cool. Joyce. Oh, the PG version. Okay. PG version. I won't Joyce. get real. Yeah. I won't no, get real. Get <laughs> no, it, it's been fun. It really has. Yeah. It's been a great learning experience. Um, at the beginning, I was always very, you know, timid to speak, and now I get to the point where I'm feeling like I need to speak more. My guests need to speak less. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, because that's the, the, the platform. That's right. You yeah. know? That's right. But you're doing a great job. About and. That. And we're glad to have you here on Positive Positive. And congratulations to you, too, because it's not easy. I remember listening to Beverly Fell Jones. Um, I think she she had a presentation. She was on one of our podcasters of the year. Of course, the Ursa Awards coming out. I know you guys are new to it, but uh, we have the Internet Radio Star Wars coming out of Positive Power. And we're going to do something different this year. This is our second year. What we're going to do, we're going to send out a, a ballot of, um, of uh, potential, you know, the nominees. And you guys get a chance to give us your vote, who you like to see receive that award. So we're, we're going to have, like, pretty much the staff is going to pretty much put the list together because we listen to a lot of the shows. We we, we, we do a lot of Facebook social work, so social media, so we know what people are doing. But we're going to give you guys an opportunity to also uh, cast a vote and so we can get it down. Because what we do, we don't just say, okay, there's five people in this category – we we'll just put the top two that we think that should be there and keep it going because it's all in-house, okay? So give everybody mm-hmm. an opportunity to be in an area where we felt you was really strong. So you guys give, give them a chance to also uh, – some one person don't be running away with everything, which can easily happen because some people are really good at what they do. But um, we try to right. make sure we give everybody the kudos because I think everybody is fantastic. You know, and they and they bring up they brought a lot to our our brand, so we want to make sure we acknowledge yeah. that. And the areas that you were really really strong, where we the staff said, "Oh, they killed it. This was their area. They killed it." You know, because we've been talking wow. about categories like actor of the year, um, you know, male female categories, and we're gonna try to condense the list as much as we can because the show went like an hour thirty minutes, but it was it was so awesome. We had performances. We had presentations. People actually were able to give their uh, speech, which, you know, you don't see on some of these shows, you know, unless you're there. Right. Yeah, you right. get a chance to give your acceptance right. speech. So let's say we say, Paula G, you won in this category. We'll tell you what categories you won in. And then some people did win in three categories last year. It was, it was remarkable. But you have an opportunity to do a video or send us an audio piece with a picture. 
and it's all virtual. It's a virtual award ceremony. A lot of the government agencies do it now because they don't, they can't mm-hmm. afford to to fly everybody and their families out and this and that. So they do it virtually right now. So um, it's going to be awesome. I actually took it up a notch, uh, made it into a movie. It's actually a movie. Yep. So if, really? if you've never seen it before, it's out there on YouTube. And we're probably going to be running it probably in the end of January because the war is actually going to be huh? in February during Black History Month. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. You, but you'd be finding out, wow. so, you know, you'll be getting uh, some ballots or some names that we thought were, you know, were the top mm-hmm. names on that list and you know, let you guys get a chance to um, do some. So we're still talking about that part right there. I actually had it written down, but I forgot what they told me, how they wanted to do it. <laughs> You know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, know, yeah. So it's gonna be cool. It's gonna uh-huh. be cool. I, I think you guys are gonna enjoy it, and and you know, somebody may run away uh-huh. with five categories. Who knows? I don't know, but I'm no. not. My name won't oh, be no. on the list. Get, get sure. Joyce in there. Oh yeah, Joyce the Faith. I was about to ask. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, I can I get? I can assist to get on the list. Yeah, you guys going? Yeah, everybody in this this under the brand is going to be on the list. Any you got any affiliation with us? You know, we do business partnering. You're on the list. Yeah, because remember, a lot of people are Facebook friends with the same people, pretty much. So they know what people are doing. Yeah. So you know who's doing what out there. You know, and everybody's been really right. good. Uh, I remember that last year, and and that's pretty much how we met. A bulk of people too. Um, it was a guy came along that had a fictional studio. Yeah, not virtual, <laughs> fictional, <laughs> and uh, it really caused quite a stir because people really was hungry for fame and notoriety and all that good stuff. You know, getting there, getting out there. You know, everybody was interested in TV. This guy was, um, you know, talking about all that good stuff, and people was really excited. But it kind of woke up. Some, some, I guess the sleeping giant that was in me because I didn't know I could do those things. You know, I, I always desired to be in filmmaking, but I didn't think it was possible. I, I didn't think the equipment was affordable because when my son was doing it and he used to borrow the equipment from the school, he said, yeah, dad, this camera cost $10,000. I said, wow, really? And it was in HD. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's incredible. Huh? And, and you couldn't just shoot a movie uh-huh. in the little home video cameras that we used to buy at Best Buy. I wasn't going to do it. Mm-mm. So uh came quite a, mm. you know, a lot came out of that. But like you said, we yeah. met some great people, great dreams being accomplished, you know. Yeah, so, you know, it's like what Joyce and I were talking about earlier, um, just taking that step. And I think, Joyce, you said it well, you know, just taking that step, just stepping out and taking that leap. Mm-hmm. You know? Take it, right, Joyce? Take it. That's right. Show bravery. And you have to do it, but to do it. That's right. <laughs> Show some bravery. That's right. I mean, like these movie music artists. I mean, look at, some, look at some of these people that's been out here for years who've been in the background, singing background, and now the digital era has allowed them to become, you know, their own artists, you know? Yeah. Being an yeah. author, you know? Now, Joyce, you published, you're part of a published book this year, right? 2017? Yep, I sure. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> That's big. Oh, you see, we're gonna, you got we're gonna be, out? We're, yeah. we're gonna be able to say we knew her when. That's right. <laughs> so both of you guys, Capola G, you published an ebook, right? I did. I did. Mindset journey. I sure did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tina. Tina just yep. published DNR. Pastor Bella. Both of them have books out. Uh, Pastor V. I think she's working on a new book. She actually has a book. Probably, Pastor V don't talk much about her book, but Pastor V has a book out too. I think I do. Do I have that book? I have so many books I ordered. They're just sitting up there. Mm. I read like pieces here and there. Man, so powerful. And and also, um, yeah, um, Verna J- Jacobs. You know, you know, she's part of Positive Power. Yeah. She does our poetry reading. She has a book out. Several she's books. Good. Out. Yeah. Oh. Ridiculous. So we're working with yeah. her on a project. So big things is going to happen 2017. Just a matter, you know, everybody completing projects and, you know, just not leaving them on the table. Because I know I, I got some unfinished mm-hmm. stuff with my sister because she's been going through some health issues with her, with her sinus has been so bad. And we just can't get through a taping. <laughs> but it's going to happen. It's wow. going to happen. It's going to happen. So we was talking about wow. it today. I'm going to yeah. find like her good day. What day? What's better for you, morning or night? 
pick one. Let me know. We're going to go with it. Because the morning is not working out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for real. No, afternoon's not working out. Oh, yeah. After she's been driving around oh, in the street. Yeah, she's been driving around all day, taking her daughter hand, and then she comes over here, try to do a taping, and then her sinus is a messed up because, you know. The, oh, that's not going to work, yeah. Yeah, you're riding around all day in the street, all kinds of stuff, toxins mm-hmm. being taken in. So we'll work that out. But look, ladies, I promise I wasn't going to be up all night tonight, but we wanted to get through some of these music reviews. Now, Let's talk a little bit about what. So, what did you think, Joyce? I mean, I know you can't remember the titles and the names and everything, but did you, you know, did would you think? I remember of the same? Crazy Praise because that was my favorite. Yeah, I like Crazy Praise. Didn't you hear Rolling in there and Earl Bassman? I thought I heard those guys. Did you hear them? Some familiar voices. Um, I'm not familiar with them to let you know if I heard them. Oh, well, we played Same them a lot. Thing. Yeah, we played them a lot on the <laughs> station. You must be not locking it down on 24 7 positive power then. Mm-hmm. I, you got me. <laughs> she, she is a working actress. She is a working actress and doing a lot of camp jobs. They've been calling That's me every right. day this week to work these camp jobs. All right, all right, let you I know everybody She's don't have roaming set. data. Yeah, like everybody don't have roaming data. Understand? But I'm watching. We just people just love roaming data in this area. It's, it's so much news, so much information, so much mm-hmm. music. You got to have twenty four seven hour roaming data or a Wi Fi that follows you. That's so important these days. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, that's cool. I, I liked um, Mark Prince's piece, the last one, called Way Out No Way. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I could jazz flavor. Yeah. I love the jazz flavor. Mm-hmm. That was cool. So you're going to get a chance to hear a lot of these people. We're going to uh, we're gonna try to get them on the show. Um, there's so many artists out there, ladies and gentlemen. It's like millions of these people. And, and Gaura is, is bringing them in, polishing them up getting their masses done correctly, their covers, you know, getting them ready for CD Baby, major distribution. So all the stuff is available to yeah. you. CD Baby, Amazon, you know, whatever your heart desire. And, of course, you can hear them right here in rotation, 24-7 right here on Positive Power, Double XI Radio and TV. All right, so we're going to listen to one more, Dana Clap. I mean, Dana, and she got a song called I Clap, and then we're going to try to bring the show to a close. All right, y'all ready? Here we go. I clap is called. Where's my 
listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. All right, love that song, man. Got to add that to my playlist when I hit the gym on that treadmill. What's up, Carmi Smith, Pastor V, Tina Hobson, Superwoman. Happy New Year, everybody, again. We just saw a site. It's a good film about 2017. I know everybody was a little down about the elections, but hey, man, I think this might be a year for, I think this first term might be all about entrepreneurship and building businesses. Because old, uh, uh, Pat, I'm not going to call him Pastor Trump. Oh, oh uh, President-elect Trump is, is, was pretty angry with one of the car companies for allowing one of the cars, one of our Chevrolets being built, you know, over in Mexico. He made a big thing about that. You know, he's talking about um, putting some kind of big um, embargo tax on you if you're having your products done overseas so what is that going to do is that going to is that going to threaten them to keep the jobs here or are they just going to say hey i just write that off on my taxes and it's a loophole anyway you know is it going to make a difference you know is this people going to sit down and say hey it's time for us to make america strong got to keep jobs here but i feel like if they're going to do all this stuff man something got to something got to come down either they got to bring down the taxes Gas price, something got to come down. Premiums on your insurance, you know, because right now the middleman don't have a whole bunch of disposable income right now. And he's already probably streaming about two, three incomes in his household. You know, if we got two working folks, three. So if you by yourself, you got two. So I don't know, y'all. We, we get, it's going to be interesting. But we just got to do what we got to do, y'all. We got we to build our business. Build our business. So if you got to... Sit down and get your business model together. Sit down with your tax accountant, your lawyer. Um, um, get find a mentor, and, and and drop your ideas. You know, everyone is inter- innovative in some kind of way. Hey, what's up, Ray? Ray RJ is in the house. What's up, Miss Johnson? She is here. Joined us in positive power. All right. So hey, all right. Anyway, so what you guys think of our clap by Dana? going to be my new um, hip-hop uh, praise dance song. I'm going to make up a routine. Yeah. Be in a car just, <laughs> just jumping. A new routine. Yeah. You like that, Paula G? I like that song. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Was. That was pretty cool. Yeah, and like I told you guys before, we're going to be purging a lot of the, some of the older music that we started this the station with. You know, we got some albums out there, like 15 songs. We're going to purge it. Because right now, I think this list is almost 400 songs. And we got a lot of artists that Ngara is bringing to the network. So um, and we ready to talk to these people. So um, I'm going to be getting right. together with my sales team real good. We got something special that we think going to make the music music industry happy. You know, with Positive Power Double XI Radio and TV, the things we're doing. And also with the Blessed Network. You guys remember we did DC Unplugged, DC Unplugged. That was one of the things I was talking about Jay Nicole today. And I was like, wow, you know what? I said, you know, so crazy about music artists. You have a lot of these guys out there, and a lot of them are really, really good. But a lot of people don't know anything about them. You know, they haven't seen them, never heard them. I said, DC Unplugged opened up a lot of doors for for, for the artists that were on there. They got some exposure. And you're talking about, think about this Paula G and, and Joyce White. You know how you know how the I don't know if you guys really in the NFL, but if you ever listen to uh, the commentators when it's preseason and they say, yeah, they got to get it down to a fifty-four man roster, but the guys are out there right now have an opportunity to to, to make film, make tape, you know, do something special because somebody going to see that tape and they're going to run it back. And say, hey, did you see what that guy just did? He fits in our system. Let's get him because everybody mm-hmm. always wondering how did the the New England Patriots build their team like this because they have a system and they look for specific players to fit in and they look at film and tape. So that guy may not have worked in the Cleveland Browns system or the Ravens or the Steelers, but he may fit perfectly what they were looking for. So this is what we're doing with DC Unplugged. It's tape. You know, people watching you mm-hmm. and they got a chance. I said, wow, look how, how comfortable he is in front of the camera or she. Listen to the voice range. Let's bring him in. Let's get him on our show. Let's let's. We got an event coming up. So you got to look at it like that, y'all. Opportunities. Opp- opportunities. So we actually opening up season two to anybody. You can send a tape in, a clean tape of you in concert, you know, presenting yourself like DC Unplugged, and you can, and we can run you on this network. So, you know, inbox right. me, email me at jerryvoicelive at gmail.com, 
and we could talk about how we can get you set up. You already seen we did Stephanie uh, Sanders. She did a great job. Her her, her her studio engineer set it up for her and uh, did a great job. We was very pleased with that. All right, and then we're going to be doing season three. It's coming up real soon in spring when we get past all this winter junk. We're going to be back up and running oh. again. So you need to contact the Bless Network, Pastor Rhonda Bello, and get your, get your name on a list and make arrangements to come to D.C. in Maryland, Baltimore. That's yeah. right. There All right. You go. And you too, Paula G. and Joyce White. We waiting for you guys because, you know, we got that TV talk show circuit thing about to jump off. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We got to make that happen. That's right. Gotta and I'm excited about that. I really yeah. am. That's right. That's right. So I'm excited um, about that. We are. We are really are excited. I mean, the, the phone calls we're getting, the people was excited about doing the same thing. Um, of course, we're going to be doing a couple of pilots real soon. Um, of course, you know, the facilities, the camera people is going to cost some money for some of you are interested, but give us a call. Um, mm-hmm. and, and we can make that thing happen for you guys. You know, it's, it's some, some more Oprah's out there. Oprah ain't the only Oprah out there. There's some more Oprah's out there. We know it is. <laughs> you see, and she came out of Baltimore. Remember that, y'all? She started yeah, right she, here. You know, and you know, I remember her when she was on with Richard Cher yep. on 9 o'clock in the morning. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. Great show. Uh-huh. Great show. And, they, yeah. and then that thing ended up going, I think, to 4 o'clock or something like that. People loved mm-hmm. that show. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when yeah. she hit town. They kept saying, do you know what an Oprah is? What is it? Oh, is it a plant? <laughs> it was all kinds of stuff was coming oh. out. No, so her, 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 I believe the story behind that is uh, her mom misspelled it. it. She was naming her after Orpah in the Bible, which is in the Bible, which is O R P A H. I believe. It is. Yeah, I know. And her mom, <laughs> yeah, her mom misspelled it. That is awesome, though. She's the only Oprah. Yes, wow. You don't hear any kids bouncing around calling themselves Oprah. You see, like it's a lot of Jordans because of Michael Jordan, Michaels because of Michael yeah. Jackson. And Mike Tyson's, and even Tyson, but you don't um, even Rental, like the actor, the guy Reynolds, but you don't hear nobody naming the kids. Dude, people naming the kids after cars, Mercedes, Jaguar. Oh yeah, you gotta hear. Oh, yeah. You gotta hear mm-hmm. some of the names that my kids told me that they their friends have, like the Africans. The names are like, it's like a sentence. I'm gonna have to write write them yeah. down. It's like three kids. Their name is like a it's like a sentence, four words. It's crazy. <laughs> like I am great. Papa Dami. <laughs> no, it's crazy. Like something like I am. Like I am great. I think one kid name is I am great oh, yeah. or something like that. Yeah, it's like crazy like that. I I, I get I get them to write it down for me. I can't remember. It was just so crazy. I was like, oh no, it can't be true. Anyway, y'all, uh, we go great. <laughs> we got great. Get out of here. But before we go, um. I appreciate the artists allowing us to, you know, play their music. We're going to be reaching out to them. We did reach out to them early on, and they said they were going to be tuning in and check it out. Um, oh, Sherry Hill is out there. We're going to try to get Sherry Hill coming on tomorrow night. That's right. You guys get a chance to talk. She act, She's actually the mother of an NFL player. He passed a couple of years ago with a boating accident, but she uh, they started a book together, and she completed that book. She actually came here to Baltimore to be part of the the Newsom Award. So I had an opportunity to meet her in person. Very lovely person. Mm-hmm. And uh, you get a chance to hear her story and some of the things her and the other NFL moms are doing. So, I uh, yeah. yeah, I think they get together, I think, uh, around the Super Bowl time. So that the time is coming up where they get together. So uh, it's going to be awesome to talk to her again. So that'd be tomorrow night at 10 o'clock on Late Night with Jerry West Live Worldwide. And I miss you guys, man. I miss radio. I was tired. Yeah. Right? I caught that cold, man. Took me out for two days. Right after Christmas, I was in bed. Two days. Mm-hmm. Mm. Crazy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you missed this sometime, man. Sometimes you need a break from it, which I was glad to get away with because everybody was hitting me up. I was like, nah, I was going to get a social media break. Just, you know, because you want to come back fresh and excited, you know. And, and I'm in the gym now. Cause, you know, I was checking your apology. I'm checking you out. You're, you're a big motivation what? in that gym. Big motivation. Big motivation. Oh, hey, Danielle, thank you. I got, I, I got a great trainer. I'm telling you, I've, I've been with him for, what, three years now? Yeah. I got a great trainer. Because yeah. he, he just, you know, he, he he takes my age into consideration, but he doesn't take my age into consideration. I know that doesn't make sense. But he he 
has the expertise to come up with that balance. Mm. If that makes, you know, if that makes, um, you know, if that makes any sense. Yeah, that makes sense. That he, makes... He, he, yeah, he, he, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to, you know, to have to, you know, to have him motivating me and encouraging mm. me That's and right. helping me to, you know, to reach, uh, reach my goals. So. That's right. I, I'm, um, I'm yeah. motivated. I am moving. I see. I saw you. Mm-hmm. You know, doing what you was doing. Of course, mm-hmm. I'm not going to be doing a lot of stuff. We just strictly going to be working with the machines. You know, try to keep it safe. Yeah. And try to get hurt. Yeah. And get ready for. Um, mm-hmm. I got a big 5K race coming up in April. We had we done that um, in 2016. It was a really big race. Thousands of people show up to this thing. I'm not going to try to win it, <laughs> but I want to prepare right. for one that I would like to try to win. I think I can win the one in Pikesville. Because most of the people are like in their sixties and seventies, but it was an incredible running shape. That's all they do. Yeah, so I might go after that goal. Mm-hmm. They got big medals to give out. Hey, I want to give a quick shout out to Danielle Davis. She's out there right now. She's the, she's the uh, the music the music the, the artist that for I I clap the one you guys love. So she's out there right mm-hmm. there and um in Facebook Live. And Pastor Rhonda Bella just got off of her show and she just joined us. What's up, Pastor? She she the one. It was her fault. That I was late for your show. <laughs> I was, oh wow! I was put trying, her on blast. I put her on blast. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, "I know you're supposed to be on the radio." And I was sitting there trying to check down my salad real quick and drink my protein drink. I said, "Yeah, I'm gonna make Paula G show." And look, I'm thinking the show at nine o'clock. It's like five of. I was like, "I'm still no, on the phone talking." I know. Joyce, what are we gonna do with him, Joyce? But see, you see, mm. I remember you said you don't use um, instant messenger a lot. But that's I live. I use that's like my phone. That's like how I communicate. Yeah, a lot of people use well, email. You know, I, and text. Yeah, I do, but you know, I'm 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 in I'm in with the students all day. I'm in the classroom all day, so I don't have I don't have necessarily have the opportunity to 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 get on it. I guess it's, yeah. you know the texting is is easier for me just because of that. You know, I don't have a lot of flexibility during the day. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. No, I understand. But uh, for me, it's better to hit me up that way. You know, hit me mm-hmm. up through instant messaging. Because okay. if you don't, I won't get it till like the next day when I decide to check emails. Yep. Mm-hmm. Emails is like people like really, it's like some stuff that's not urgent that I'm waiting for files or something like that. So mm-hmm. you need something, you know, you need me to, you need me to see something right away. Text message or instant message is the best way to do it. All okay. right. All right, everybody. Again, everybody, thank you for joining us. You know, first show back for the new year. Well, again, we're going to be doing a lot of emphasis on music. Of course, um, we're going to be having artists come in here, join us uh, at 1030 and 11 o'clock. So we all going to be having, try to at least get two of them on the show and, um, and you know, have a good time. And also, um, Katem, I want to give a shout out to uh, Randall Kane out there in Katem Radio out there in um, California. Uh, he moved our show from 2 o'clock to the, the evening. So, um, you know, California time. And um, we're going to be actually running, well, it's going to be a show behind, but you get a chance to hear uh, a rebroadcast of this show tomorrow night on Kadem Radio, but also you can catch it here on Spreaker Radio. Just type in Jerry Voice Live, Google that, and you will get, and you can go to our website, PositivePower21.org, and catch the shows live. All our shows are streaming live right through Spreaker Radio, so you can catch it right on our website, right on the website. So if you if you know, you know, into Facebook or don't can't find Spreaker Radio app, because you can download the app to your smartphone, too which is awesome. It's an right. HD audio. You can't beat that. So what you hear coming through our Mickey phone or someone's telephone, it's going to be an HD sounding real good. All right. And again, we live on Facebook live too. And we're going to be going back to Periscope real soon. All right. Go out there. And uh-huh. go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about Twitter live? Twitter has live. Twitter live. Really? I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see it on my phone all the time when I go on Twitter. Oh, but I know we send. Yeah, because they're feed. doing it now. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know what this feed. We send this feed out there. Once it's archived, we we try to do some stuff. That's cool though. Spreaker was Twitter Live. I don't know if I can feel like dealing with Twitter Live. How long they let you broadcast on there? Is it unlimited? I well, I haven't tried yet. <laughs> Man. But you know how Twitter funny though. They want you to pay like twenty thousand dollars so you can, you know, be trending. That's crazy. 
Whoa. Yeah, so you got to have like a nice... Crazy. But I know some people have like a really big following on Twitter, but I don't know. Don't other people really see your news feed all the time? I mean, you got to actually sit on there and be... You can spend. You can waste a lot of time on Twitter, and haven't really caught anything unless you, you know, uh-huh. you click that link and go to that person's website. You know, unlike Facebook, you uh-huh. can complete your task right there on that page. You don't have to leave it. Yep, that's what I like about it. I don't know. Mm. Periscope is cool because people broadcast it from all over the world. You know, which is cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, ladies, we'll tell you what, before we head out, um, Joyce, can you give us your final word? And Paula, can you pray us out tonight? Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, right after this song. All right, right y'all. Yeah, right after, oh, the, right song. after the song? Yeah, right after the song right here. Right, Championed by Daquan Julius and UTK.
the battle. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you're feeling right now, you gotta know and understand that no matter what you've been through, our God is champion. Yeah, you gotta love it. Champion. And that's by Dequan Julius and UTK. Man, it's some great music. Great music right here on Positive Power 21.org, Christian Media, Double XI Power Radio. Right here, y'all. 2017. It's going to be awesome, y'all. All right, so let's get the Faith Walk and give us our final thoughts for tonight's show, and then we're going to let the one who celebrated her one year anniversary <laughs> pray us out. All right, Faith Walk, are you ready? <laughs> I'm always ready, Jerry. (laughs) Yes, well, my final thoughts for tonight are this. Because, Jerry, when you sent the scripture, Matthew 7, 7, how we need to um, ask, seek, and knock, and then the doors will be opened unto us, that's what we need to do. Plus, we need to worship more. More worship in 2017 and more, um, you know, when we wake up in the morning, let's seek God before we start our day and mm-hmm. um, take time to listen when he's speaking to us because we, are, we all have the tendency to just, you know, always ask God and ask God for things. Let's, you know, do a different thing, uh, a new thing this year in 2017. You know, let's start worshiping more and listening more and then submitting ourselves when God shows us, you know, the direction that we need to follow. That's right. And that's my thoughts for tonight. Amen. Thank you, Faith Walker. Amen. We love you, and thank you for joining us tonight on our first show for the new year. Amen. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you ready, Paula G? All right. We are ready. We are ready. Everyone within the sound of my voice, all hearts and minds are clear. Whatever it is that you may be doing, I just ask that you stop. Be still and allow his presence to rain down over you. Father God, we come before you this evening, Lord, just giving you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, Father, for all that you have done, all that you are doing, and all that you have yet to do in each and every one of our lives. Father, first of all, Lord, we all strive to do what is right. We all strive to walk in your will, Lord. We all strive to do those things that are pleasing to you, Lord, but we are human. We are flesh and blood, and at times we do fall short, Lord, and we just ask right now in your son's precious name for your forgiveness for anything that we have said or done that has not been pleasing to you. Father, we thank you for another year, Lord. We thank you for allowing us to see 2017, Lord. We thank you for this positive power 21 family, Lord. We thank you for Jerry. We thank you for Joyce, Lord. And we just thank you for everyone that is involved in in, in this uh, endeavor. Father, you know, you have taught us that if we leap, the net will appear, meaning, Father, if we take that step, that you will open doors, Lord. You will uh, put persons in our path, Lord, to help us reach the point that you desire us to reach, Lord, to, to fulfill our destiny, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord. We give you all glory. We give you all honor. We give you all praise, Lord. Each and every person, Father, within the sound of my voice, Lord, I know they have lifted up prayers and petitions to you, Lord. And I know not any of them, Father, but you have heard them. So I ask right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you just reach down Touch them at their point of need, Lord. Just place your finger on top of their head, your arms around them, Lord, so that they feel you, Lord, that they know that you are there, Lord, and that they know that you have heard and hear their prayers. Father, as we go forward in 2017, we just ask for your wisdom. We ask for your guidance. We ask for your discernment, Lord. We ask for that still, small voice, Father, to lead and guide us so that we may walk in the way that you have destined us to walk. In Lord, you place gifts in each and every one of us, Lord, and each and every one of us by faith, Lord, are moving forward and stepping forward in those gifts, Lord. So we just ask that you continue to bless us, you continue to keep us, Lord. If someone is traveling 
in their car, Lord, if maybe they're not home yet, Lord, I just ask for your hedge of protection around them as they uh, travel home and may their home be as they found it, Lord. Ask, as always, blessings over the uh, Royce household, Father. Just ask that you continue to bless and keep my brother, my sister, Joyce. Lord, you know her journey, Father. I just ask that you continue to stir up the gifts in her, Lord, to give her strength to do what it is that she needs to do. Father, I just thank you. We thank you. We thank you. With 10,000 tongues, we cannot thank you enough, Father. And we just raise these petitions to you in your son's precious name. Let us all say amen, 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 amen. and amen. All right. Amen. Thank you so much. Woo, thank you so much. Amen. Again, thank you, everybody out there on Facebook Live, Spreaker Radio World, all our military, all our island brothers and sisters. Don't worry, Dominican Republic, Jerry was live. We'll be back. I just got the the signal from the wife. It's going it's gonna to be a go. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, we'll be better back. go. That's right. It's a go. And my final question <laughs> is, did you feel the power of Joyce White, the faith walker? Did the you, faith walker felt the power. She felt the power. Call a deep, quiet storm. Did you feel the power? Call a deep, quiet storm. I am feeling the power. Feel the power. Kwame Smith, Pastor Bello, Verona Jacobs said, Did you feel the power? Blossom Rogers, I see you out there. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Tuning in to Positive Power Double XI Radio and TV, Facebook Live, Speaker Radio. And don't forget, we're on TuneIn, streaming 24-7, independent gospel music at your exposure right here, y'all. Support us, y'all. Black media, y'all. We need you. You always say you want to support somebody. We're asking. We're knocking. Woo! You like that Matthew 7-7, seven, seven, didn't you, Joyce White? I knew you were going to like that. God gave me that one. That's right, y'all. Ask. Woo! Seek. And knock. It will come your way. Just ask them. I tell you guys all the time. Praise Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His mighty deeds. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with trumpet and sound, flute and harp, tambourine and dance, strings and pipes. Praise Him. Praise Him. He loves you. I'm Jerry Boys Live, worldwide on Positive Power, 21.org, Double XI Christian Radio, TV, Media. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And Kwame Smith said, hallelujah and good night. Feel the power. You are listening to Jerry Boys Live, worldwide podcast. Hi, this is Angel Sessions. When I'm in town, I listen to Jerry Boys Live. Positive Power 21.org, where they play my favorite music. This is Brandon Royce, and you're listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide on Positive Power 21.org. Feel the power, y'all. Feel the power 21. Catch us again every night, Monday through Thursday. It starts at 10 o'clock. It's like 30. Brand new music. Yes. Cold Stars, that's right, I'm calling them Cold Stars now. That's right, the Faith Walker, Paula G, Kimmy Kim, and Patrice Jackson, and Superwoman Tina Hobson. Right here, lock it down, y'all. 2017, Matthew 7 7. Gotta love it. See you soon. Peace. Hey, family, this is Paula G, and you are listening to me. Positive Power 21 with over 500 episodes with Jerry Royce live worldwide. Can you feel the power? Tomorrow night, join me, Late Night Batman, Late Night Radio. Peace, y'all. Obama out. Boom! <laughs>